Hello everybody. It is time for another pattern at pattern-collections.com. Go to Pattern Focus. Today's pattern, we did the spiraling arrows yesterday, which went horribly wrong. Um, here we go. There's uh, what I did to fix this little bit at the bottom. I just took my black pen after everything was completely dry and I just, I tried to get in there and re- mark that little Z shape. I wasn't completely successful with it, but it's better than it was. So anyway, today's drawing is going to be on the other side and it's going to be wayward six. So apparently wayward six already has a uh, video. Um, so check out that person's video because, you know, they're going to do things differently than I do. And it's always a good idea to get as much research as possible when learning a new tangle. I'm going to make that nice and big so I can see it. All right. What I want to do is I want to look at, I'm actually going to look at the, the sample drawings here real quick. I see that there's a a lot of different varieties of ways you can use this. Look at those. Aren't those beautiful? I'm going to really enjoy this. So, step one is we're going to make the number six. That's simple enough. Then step two, we are going to echo aura it. We're going to we're going to come to a point here at the top and then we're just going to come around and and butt up against that one there. And then if we want to make it uh, in this sort of butterfly like shape, we're then going to come out across underneath there and put this same sort of shape on the other side here. But if we're only going to do part of one like like this. We only need one, the six coming like that and not coming out the other end. Does that make sense? And this one, see how it comes out and instead of coming down here, it's going up that way. So it depends on how you build that first six as to the shape of, um, of your little thing when you're done. So once you have your basic shape in the way you want it, then we're going to put these little petals going from the tip toward the middle. From the tip toward the middle. So that one looks kind of like a flying thing. You can put a gem in the middle here if you make it big enough. That would be awesome, right? You can um, have these little wing parts instead of coming upward like this you can have them more outward so that you have a wider thing here you can just do like I said this one is a six and then having instead of coming out here it went this way with it this one's just the number six without any little wing parts just it looks like it's limitless possibilities of the different ways this one here was just a, a six this way and then they did this going this way I mean so many different ways that you can use this tangle this is exciting I, I really enjoy here's another variation oh look at this one oh look how pretty this one is comes this way and this way and that way. Ah, I can't wait. Okay. This one is one by uh, Yiru Chen, which if you um, search by, uh, you can go into um, Pattern Dash Collections and you can search by a particular um, artist. So if you find a tile or a tangle that you like from that artist, and you want to see what else they have developed, um, go for it. That, that's great. I seem to have a little congestion this morning. 
woke up to um, fog. We actually have fog, which is awesome because yesterday I was complaining how hot it was. I'm going to use my pen. I don't know. I may have uh, totally ruined this pen. So if I did, I'm going to switch over. But I, I accidentally picked up my Micron to try to fix this tile on the back side. And I may have clogged it. I'm just going to a little piece of paper here and test it out before I get started. Yeah, it looks like it'll probably draw. I was afraid that I had clogged it. That was silly of me. Okay. So here I have my uh, my tile with my string. Um, I'm going to use I'm actually going to use this corner bit to decide which direction my six is going. It's going to go like that, and then this one's going to come out way over here. almost isn't right. I I should have gone on this side of it. So actually, in order for my eye to make th that make sense, I'm going to go ahead and put a little line in there. Normally would not do that, but I want my eye to know that this is the same piece, like a piece of barbed wire or something. Okay. And then I'm going to just do little petals. Right to there. And coming this way. And maybe we'll go the other way too. Why not? I should draw one that's exactly like the step out though. I've already gone I've already gone rogue. Which I do, you guys know that. But I love it. Okay. All right, let's make one that looks like the the thing shows. Um Where do I want to start it though? Start it here. Come here. It's gonna come out here. See, follow that line like that. Follow that line. That's more like what the step out shows.
These are cool. Oh, I like them. I'm going to Should we do one going the other way? Will it make any difference? I don't know. Let's give that a try. I come out here. I have that one mostly behind. And let's see what happens. That one's going to come around and it's going to come out here. So that'll come around and come out here. Like that. Oh, these are so much fun. So much fun. Hope your week is going well. Ours, mine is just really super busy. Today should be my day off, but it's not. I'm going to go in for a couple hours and complete some tasks. We got really far behind the other, like three weeks ago, someone was on vacation and then somebody else's um, grandparent passed away. And, um, you know, we did what we had to do to, to uh, take care of things, but we got a little behind. And so, we are going to have a a corporate visit on Monday. And usually that entails us making our store look perfect. And, yeah, we're not quite there yet we, we're a lot closer to being perfect than um, I've had at other stores but yeah we're still have some room for improvement so I'm gonna pop in on my day off and get my tasks accomplished so that when Monday comes uh, there is nothing waiting that I would have had to do. I'm wondering if I want to put the rest of it going this way on this one. No. I feel like it wants something sticking out here though. I do sound kind of nasally, don't I? 
I don't feel bad. But I do sound like I've caught a cold. <laughs> that shape goes really well with this particular tangle. Maybe, maybe one going this way too. Okay, I like those. I think if it needs maybe one over here to kind of balance it out. Coming from where though? Up this way? one's good. I like that. What else does it need? I don't think it needs anything. I think we're good. I think I'm going to decide how, let's see, how is this living? No, it's definitely living like this. And this was called Wayward Six. Erase all those little pencil bits because I don't need them. Didn't use a, a border. I kind of used the string, but not really. It's in there, but maybe I should write that down. String 53, it's in there somewhere, just not easy to find. I want to I want these to look like holes and not like pearls. That immediately makes it a hole and not a solid in the middle there. Okay, I like that. I want some, maybe I'll put this dippling in here.
Okay, I like that. Wasn't sure I was going to like that, but once I started, kind of have to continue on. You know, just be bold, make your mark, and decide you're just going to go for it, right? even darker in here. Not completely solid, but darker. Okay, I'm liking that. Actually needs to be in here too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. If that's a hole, all of this background stuff would be in there as well. Absolutely. Same thing up here. Better. Indeed. So pretty much I'm shading with my pen. I'm using my pen to make the little dots and where they're closer together, it's like it's a darker shading. Where they're further apart, it's lighter. here. Don't need many out here. It gets really light, but you need a few because otherwise it looks like it's like not in its thing. Oh, I am happy. I am so happy with this. You never know what's going to come out of your own hand. It's like the pen just kind of has a mind of its own. I don't know. It's weird how it just kind of happens. Sharpen up my pencil a little bit so I can get a nice point to go in these spaces. I'm going to do right where they overlap. Maybe a little bit extra where they overlap. This one overlaps this one. that. I'm going to cast a little shadow right there. And this will overlap that right there. And this 
this overlaps right there and this overlaps right here okay i'm gonna start with those get my little blender oh Ooh, i've got that loud today youtube notification art sherpa is going live If you guys um, are interested in acrylic painting, um, the Art Sherpa, which is Cinnamon Cooney, um, all this week she's been doing a lot of videos. Um, the 13 Days of Halloween, I think she's calling it. So every day she's been coming up with something new. Most of them have been lives. Uh, that's a lot of work. I know. That's a lot of work. But she does an awesome job. She's now hit her 200,000 subscribers. She's just, she's just awesome. She really is. And she takes you on this artistic journey and you don't have to be accomplished. She teaches you how to do it when you don't think you can. And, you know, you don't even have to know how to draw. Um, you know, if you're doing Zentangle, certainly you have enough drawing skills to do, get the uh, idea down on the canvas. But if you um, can't or don't want to draw the image onto the canvas, you also can use her traceable she's got so you can just, you know, you can just trace and then fill in. Follow her instructions. She, she's really good and patient and answers questions um, from viewers when she does her live things. Um, I had somebody ask me why I, I don't do a live on... Um, on my videos since I do this in real time anyways why I'm not just doing it on live and to be absolutely honest with you I don't think I could handle all the distraction because to do a live you have to really moderate the chat um, and I, I, I am kudos to those who are able to do it I watch other people who it's just them they just have their phone or their tablet or their computer up and running while they're doing their live and then they are able to go back and forth and, and look at what's going on on the screen and interact at the same time they're drawing or painting or uh, collaging or whatever it is that they're doing. Ugh, I don't think I could do that. As it is, I'm already get distracted enough from just sounds in the neighborhood, you know, the, the construction next door or the dog barking across you know on the other side or any of those things they already distract me I I could not not do a live And here overlaps there. And here. And even though, like, like right now, the tile saw just started up again next door. And that, that, that's bugging me, right? But I've had people say that they don't really hear it. It's, it's probably louder for me than it is for you guys. And I am thankful for that. 
because it really drives me crazy. It's like, no, don't you guys know I'm videoing? Well, part of what's driving me crazy is it's taking so long for them to do what they were doing. You know, you would think a couple of a couple of weeks would be it, but no, it's taking much longer. But then again, I do know that neighbor has said that that they're they're completely remodeling the entire house before they move in. Um, belonged to their mother. Um, she moved in the same time we moved in. Uh, houses were brand new back in 89, I think it was. Yeah, we, we, we've been neighbors a very, very long time. And um, she passed away about a year ago. Has it been a year? Maybe it's not even been a year. But a while back. And her son actually lives on the block behind us. Um, he bought a house that same time. He bought a smaller home, no, a bigger home. He bought one of the two-store houses on the street behind. And so, um, you know, they've, they've been really close and he walks over all the time and used to visit his mom and, and and she had uh, one of her grandchildren living with her after her husband passed away. And um, so what they've decided to do is that the grand, they're keeping both homes. The grandchild that was living next door with Maria um, is actually moving in because their family is growing and they're actually moving into the larger home on the street behind us and the, the son he's now at the you know uh, empty nest stage um, and these are not his children it's his brother's children that are the, the grandkids but he's now at the empty nest stage, and so now it's just him and his wife in that big old house. So basically, they're switching homes, and the, the, his niece and her family are going to move into his house. And he and his wife are going to move over here next to us. And right now, they're all living in the same, in the, in the big house on the other street. But that means that they are completely, they, they're redoing the kitchen, they're moving. In the kitchen, they've actually closed up one window, which I haven't gone over to look, but I imagine that they closed up that window so that they could put more cabinetry along that one wall. You really didn't need that window. There's a lot of windows in that kitchen. And um, I've heard them, you know, rip up tiles. She had tile floors in the in the family room and down the hall, so I'm assuming they took those out and replaced those and I think they're redoing all the bathrooms and the kitchen and who knows what else they're doing over there. But it's taking a long time. Okay, I really, really, really like this tile. This is one of my favorites really had a good time with this calm and relaxing and easy to do and organic I love the organic okay so you guys have a really great day I will continue to listen to them construct next door while I finish off my week here drawing the rest of the today's uh, rest of the week today get things some things accomplished go to work and um, yeah, it's going to be my day. I hope you have a good one. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.